They said you should have been on the corner selling drugs. That's what the fuck they told us. We love this guy, man. See him on HBO. He's headlines all over the planet. Don't worry, I'll be back. Build the bed. People with me today, I'm telling y'all, it's Rosh Hashanah today. Woo! Where my Jews at? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, In Temple, where they, they should off. be. They <laughs> off. They off. I love my Jewish people. I want to say happy Rosh Hashanah to y'all. I want to say happy October. Okay, that's good too. Happy October. It's Yankee season. The Yankees going to win the yeah. World Series. The Yankees will win the World Series. You can put something on that. Okay, now check it out. Today, I got my people here with me. I I'm going to go around the room and introduce them right now because we about to get loud on Rosh Hashanah. And I want to say, I love the Jewish people and their holidays, man. But y'all, because they got a holiday every week. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like the holiday this week, it's another one coming next week. That's why I love them. Mm -hmm. Now, first to my left, Kevin Guti. Yeah. Hey, Kevin. Now, Kevin. Hey. Now, Kevin Guti. Kevin Guti, he runs the website. Tell them about your website. Fantasy Football Jibber Jabber is actually a show we do on YouTube and Facebook where we take fantasy football advice, give that out, as well as NH uh, NFL handicapping. We tell you who's going to win for the week and also who to start, who to sit. And it's myself and Gerard Heron, a couple comics, and we do it every week during the football season. We're giving out free money picks. Nice. Yeah, go to patreon.com slash fantasy football jibber jabber and you get my secret locks of the week every week. So, boom. And always money. Yes. Those Christmas presents, goddammit. Yes. yes, always bet the Patriots. Always no. bet the Patriots. <laughs> exactly. All right, so listen. Next, I, I, I didn't bring a comedian no. in this seat right here. I want to make sure. Oh, we got it right here. Let me see. Let's see it. Let's see it. Facing a run defense, 26th or worse. Steelers and the Ravens, he does have twice. Don't forget that. But I will take my shot. Steelers' run defense is not good anymore. They're, they're still, living off their name. They got, uh, they got the, the linebacker from LSU. Uh, not LSU. It's the other rookie. guy. Yeah. But I will take my, I'm going to take my chance with Nick Chumbawamba. That's my nickname, not some other, other dumb ESPN anchors. Nick. Well, I say go wow. Patriots. I say go Patriots. <laughs> they did not cover this week, by the way. They, they did didn't not. Cover. The Bills did. Yeah, but they won. Fuck that. <laughs> All right, so check it out. Come, also, I got an artist, a visual artist who I just love to death. When we hang out, every, it's either I'm on or she's on or she's on or I'm on. We have crazy nights together. Give it up for Natalie Olivo. Hi, Natalie. Give it up. Hey. And we're going to... We're going to see some of her artwork later. When I tell you this woman right here, I brought her in today because they say I don't represent the Spanish culture. Tell them where you're from. I'm, uh, again, my name's Natalie Olivo. I'm a Bronx native, Puerto Rican from the Bronx. Yeah. 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 All right. Also, right here to my left, we got Julio Gallarate. Hey, Julio. What up, Julio? No clapping? You guys aren't going to clap for me? Give him some love. Now, this is what I like about Julio. Julio has an advice. Um... What is that Your podcast? Oh, yeah, it's called Oops. We ba I mean, we kind of talk about people <laughs> fucking up, basically. Mm. Just like people's biggest mistakes they've made in their lives I and like stuff. That. Uh, yeah. Among other things. But yeah, so I've been doing that for a couple months. That's Julio Gallarotti. And also, here's what we got today, because I want to jump right into it. I got Dave Temple over here. Dave Temple. Hey, Dave. Hey, what's going on? Hey. I'm over here in the corner. <laughs> yeah. I get to sit at the table. You know, I'm over here in the corner. I'm hot. And you got no shirt on, no fan, or nothing. What's up with that? What's going on with the wife beater today? Rosh Hashanah, you know? That's the way we celebrate. <laughs> Dave Temple, it's a Jewish name for a reason, man. It's a Jewish New Year, you know? <laughs> what I like year. about Dave, Dave has, look at it this way. So, Dave, what you got for us today? All right, man. So, this week's Look at It This Way. Uh, it was a video I found on World Star about a week ago by an old lady in a nursing home who oh. was trying to get that cootie cat ate. <laughs> and uh, nobody would eat her out, man. Let's 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 run the video. Let's just run the video real fast. Oh my God. Why, Dave? Why, Dave? Me love how many people think she's being inappropriate? Yo! And how many of you think she's keeping it realer than most? 
<laughs> y'all be forgetting old people got genitals. <laughs> At the end of the day, we all just want to be sucked on and <laughs> on. <laughs> That's it. That's all we really want. An act of absolute desperation. She's paying four hundred dollars a day to be in this place. For the love of God, kiss her. Kiss her. <laughs> you wildin' days. <laughs> Look at her. This lady is half a corpse. Oh my God. Doesn't she deserve half? No. Fifty percent of you are gonna end up in a home. That's right. That little selfish kid of yours staring at a tablet. They You're will put you in a home. And according to your genitals, you ain't you ain't you ain't done living yet. That's if you nasty. Go to a nursing home. They'll arrange for a doctor to come in and see him, dentist to come in and see him, physician, a physical therapist. We can't get somebody to come in and go down on everybody. I mean, while you're wasting their time watching movies like Fifty First Date, I'm sure someone would be willing to come in and do what needs to be done. Look at it this way. Look at it this way. If it were you, who's filming? You want somebody to yeah, yeah, you right were. now. Right now. You have a loved one in a nursing home that is catcalling the staff, trying to get their rocks off. Really? And with that kind of persistence, someone's gonna do it. Cause old you people got money, person. got inheritance. You can oh, easily be written yeah. in the will. So don't get mad. So don't get I mad when you finally decide you to visit. That pussy you walk up. in <laughs> and someone's going down on your grandma. What? what, what? <laughs> Amadi's <laughs> going down on yeah. your grandma. Dead wrong for this one. Right now. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Kevin Guti, what do you feel about that? I feel the orderly should have came in and go, oh, sure, I kiss your pussy with put a pillow over her face. Like, shh, <laughs> shh, shh. Oh, no. It's like the end of Private no. Ryan. Just put her out of her misery. <laughs> I was actually just saying, I used to teach art in a nursing home, and that actually did happen where one of the orderlies was caught going down on one of the residents. Meow. Yeah, they don't know how long it was going on because she actually like has um, like Alzheimer's or whatever. But, like who's going, I'm sorry. Ooh. Get that the check. Did the Get that say, check. Did the janitor say that pussy right. tastes like the Great Depression? <laughs> <laughs> Oof, tastes like the it's dust Old bowl. people need love too, first of all. Listen, it's just that that setting is just. the cleanest you yeah, gonna but get. Just, you don't, what Ooh. Old people? Right. Yeah. They yeah. got no disease. And old people are on a lot of prescriptions, so there's a lot of vitamins and minerals coming out of that thing. <laughs> but they're in a diaper. That dirty ass hasn't been washed since Wednesday. I think oh it's the other way around. Like I heard there's... Pamper push. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Legend, talk to me. What you feel about that? I can't even imagine. What does a coochie look like when it gets that old? David Eisenhower, sorry, Dwight Eisenhower's face. That's what it looks oh, like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, well, Julia didn't why, tell us. Why are they filming her, this lady? That's, because it happens all the time. Off. It's the like she wanted somebody to believe it. Look, old people, older people, no matter how old you are, let's not even talk about age, no matter how old you are, you need love and you need a sexual whatever, okay? But filming someone who clearly is not possibly 100% there is wrong. In my opinion. Well, it, I don't think, I honestly think that she probably intended to share this with like her and reposting it is followers even worse. on Instagram. She had no idea it was going to go that far and that some asshole like me was going to yes. gather it and make exactly. something out of it even further. But that's the power of the internet, people. Right. It's forever. There's actually she laws against that. Yeah. I remember you, wait, wait, wait. that. Um, oh, she's of age. Like she's, a, a, she's, got a, she's of age. She's got, yeah. no, she's got an Instagram page. Guys, that's somebody's grandma. No, no I, I know. She has a page. She has an Instagram what, a page. Kiss my pussy page? No, it's called, <laughs> it's called, <laughs> it's called oldcooch.com. Oh, you're <laughs> fucking with me. Fuck off. <laughs> hey, I guess it's sexual harassment, no. too. No way. Maybe she's <laughs> filming it to prove. She's like, this woman every single day asked me to go down right, on her. That's true. But how did it get on the internet? Once and for all. Once <laughs> like, Laz, what you think about this? Would you do it? I'm going to have to think about that, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I'm a giver. I'm a giver. And I don't want to make her feel bad, you know? Yeah. I got to stay on brand. I got to make her feel good. I might. I might. <laughs> Wife might not like it. <laughs> I might just do it. And she might understand. Barry Ribs. She's a little bit younger than you. Ah. <laughs> Talk about it, Barry. I just, uh, I just want to put it out there now that I'm getting to that, a that age where I, I would... <laughs> and I would hope somebody would suck my dick. Thank you. There you go. There Yo, you go. Bobby Lockwood, what you got? What you got, Bobby Lockwood? Oh, Barry, you got this. She about to start a whole new genre. Oh. She about to have fans. That genre exists, honey. Someone out there, not even old, not, is looking at that like, where's she at? Yeah, 100%. Trying to get in there, you know, trying to get in the will. <laughs> what tastes worse, the candy that she hands out to kids or her pussy at this age? Candy. <laughs> candy. Because <laughs> it's not in a wrapper and it's floating around in that purse. All right, Mallory, I want to know, when you get older, 
Oh what you gonna do? On the spot. <laughs> do you know the innocent in me was like, could it just be that she's talking about her cat? Uh. Could that be all that it is? The granny like, we'd love in me? to believe that. Um, you, yeah, yeah. You're like, no, no way. No, she definitely, she definitely wants it kissed. Um, I, I mean, if I was that old and I was still horny and I wanted it, like, by all means, like, go for it. Go for it. That's right. Clearly, she didn't get enough in her earlier years. You know, she's First still crying. 84. For it. Yeah. She's not, she's, she's, and she, is she asking for it from a man or a woman? It seems like she's asking from a woman. Yes, yeah, I right. think she's just yeah. Yeah. anybody. Woman into herself. Anybody. She's, she's like, like oh, I didn't try I'm this. a little fluid, issue. okay? Yeah. Why a woman? Why a woman? Yeah. <laughs> Are y'all I think a that's woman? a woman she's asking for in the video. That's what I'm like asking. Yeah. I thought she just wanted a tongue. Yeah. Anybody's, right. tongue. Anybody's tongue. Anybody's, Anybody's tongue. tongue. But I feel like she might want a woman, you know? Okay. Well, uh, most of those. We know yeah, if it was a male or female. Most of those, like, female. Jamaican orderlies are kind of, uh, anyway, so she probably couldn't tell the difference, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what made you stop on this, Dave? Talk to me. What made what? you stop on this one? Uh, I, I don't know. Because that, you know what? My girl had a situation like that where her, her grandma turned 91 and like they wanted to take her to Olive Garden and grandma was like nah I'm not with it and they couldn't understand why grandma ain't want to hang out with them and I'm like grandma thinking about like birthday number 22 23 you know what I mean no, no, like she no, no. she don't get that no more don't nobody want to hang out with their grandkids on their birthday <laughs> you want to get drunk and she want to get fucked but like the girls that she celebrated 22 and 23 probably ain't even here no more you know what I mean like she don't know who to call to hang out okay all right all right so we all in agreement that if necessary we would help her out no, no, not at all. <laughs> not one fucking bit. Nope. That was just you, Larry. Nope. Right. What's the over-under on that? You go to determination. Ah, Larry's face was so serious on that. Oh, no, why not? <laughs> I'm with it. Hey, old soup good once you warm it up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tommy. 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 How many times can you no, no. microwave that shit before it gets nasty? Hey, 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 hey Tommy. Yeah. Dude, Tommy's my bo boy from Philly. He does every fucking voice. Tommy, I want you to do a voice... Like her asking for the pussy to get it. It's where Larry gets hard. Oh, oh wow, <laughs> this old soup up, baby. Lick on this thing and do me right. Bring me back to 1927, baby. Warm it up. Warm it up. Warm it up. Larry. Yes, sir. For a, pri for a price, I would lick any bitch. Yeah, Barry. Oh. Barry, stay right That's there. That's a t-shirt right there, like, Ribs. Yeah, That's a exactly. I feel like most we people started, are like that, We though. just started a service for Barry Ribs. Barry yes, can go did. around Barry, from nursing home to nursing home, now. and he can clean up, man. No. He come around. <laughs> Barry, we finally, because we've been trying to figure out what's Barry's niche. That's your fucking niche. Old folks' homes. You, you, you were married. I was married for quite a long time. How long was you married? Uh, she left me five times, so <laughs> legally, 24 years legally. Okay, you're a cancer survivor? Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. My wife was a cancer, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, I fucking love it. So, you would, so, so Barry, you a geriatric gigolo? <laughs> uh, as I said, Tommy, uh, I would lick or fuck any bitch. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Surprise, right? I'm gonna just call him. Yeah, this just took a weird turn. It's a T-shirt, Barry. Better <laughs> lay. It's longer. Yeah, God is the producer. Is I will fucking look any bitch. That's it, Barry. That's a That's tag. It, Barry. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get somebody to open up for you, Barry. <laughs> You're her. Right, I'm gonna get her to open up for you. All right. But over here today, I got my boy Frank Cass. What's going on, man? How yeah, you doing? Where problem, you at? Man. I'm right here. Cass, where you at? Where you at, Cass? Right here, this right dude right here. See, I'm one of those type of people, if I see you, if I meet you through one of my boys or whatever like that, and I love your art, dog, I got to fuck with you. And this is the dude right here. We was, we was filming a video. Well, we did, we did um, Twister on the subway. We, we took some chicks, and we did Twister on the subway. It was a great <laughs> fucking event. But while we was waiting for the chicks to come, Frank was like, yo, uh, my boy Three was like, yo, I want you to uh, hear my man's uh, CD or whatever like that. Dog, he got fire. So let me put Frank Cass up here. You got it, Frank? We got him? Yeah. Did, did I, give you, I give you his video? Oh, yeah. You can put the beat up a little higher. This dude right here. Get back. 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 Get back.
Get back. What is it called? Get back. <laughs> This a motherfucking get back. This is like a whole esophagus, like a blood bath. Get back, smack the handicap. Now you in the wheelchair. Then you're so not left, but you still here. You know the prince stay fresh with the bell in. Trying to bag a little shorty with the long hair. I ain't trying to get rich, just pass the wealth. But shit don't add up, I subtract myself. Too much fake love, I make you hate love. Wiping up my skin like Vicks vapor rub. Even my hands can't catch up. I've been doing this shit since 11. I will with the Smith just to prove I'm a legend. I won't stop flowing till they see me up in heaven. And even at that, I'ma still play the money. While I'm battling Mike, Billy Jean and all night I'm taking two shots for pop Discussing how he got pop Yo. Yeah. 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 Yo. That is some good shit. I'm going to start opening this show with that, man. Oh, Come I on, love man. That. That's hot. That's what I'm talking about. You, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that shit was, was dope. That's what hip hop yeah. is, man. That's the really hip hop yeah. right there. I would put that song on while eating that old bitch out. Oh <laughs> That's what I would do. <laughs> Yo. Uh, also in this real. Also, also in the studio who does hip hop a little bit. And I tell you this dude right here, I'm so proud of him. He's one of my best friends in life. He will always be one of my best friends in life. Give it up for legend yeah. Noel! Woo, legend! Woo. That's the homie, that's the homie. Listen to, listen to his song. <laughs> it's coming. Yeah, both are playing. Yeah, they mix it. They mix it. They mix it. They mix it. I love it. What you saying over there? I'm a boss star. I love it though. I'm a boss star. I'm a boss star. What you saying over there? I'm a boss star. I'm the boss star. Give it up for legend. All right, so now. Last week, we didn't get to Legend's subject, and I, there's no way in the world I'm not going to get to this subject right here. Because me and Legend, we argue all the time, but we the best of friends, whatever. He always takes his side. I always take the best side. So now, on this issue right here, that's why I brought my women here today to talk to Legend about this subject right here. Uh -oh. Legend, okay, this, this has to deal with Fantasia. Legend was talking about Fantasia. Fantasia was in the news last week, and girls were clapping back at her hard. Uh, we got Fantasia right here. Hi, Fantasia. Now, what did she do? What did Fantasia say, Legend? Well, Fantasia uh, was recently, I think she got married, and she was saying uh, women need to take a step back and realize that if you want your relationship to work, you have to have a bit of sub uh, submission, submission in a uh, relationship. And a lot of women took a real strong issue to that because people tend to look at the word submissive as a bad word. Yeah. When in actuality, she really wasn't talking about that. But she, she mean compromise? Is she compromise? She mean compromise? She mean she mean compromise. She that's mean, another word. She, well, she basically was... <laughs> that's what she was talking about right here. <laughs> Damn it. That word is in the English language. You need to submit when that's the problem. No, but she was saying if you want to get married and you want, it to, you want something lasting, that you have to be willing to submit to each other. You're both on the same team. And you, we, look, look at it like this. If we're trying to win an NBA championship, we all have to know our roles in a relationship. Right. We all can't be joined. Yeah. You all work as a team to get to the final result. Yeah. Well, you, you, you can't have a head. What supports the head? A strong neck. But everybody has to know their role. So the in today's society, mm -hmm. we're constantly trying to intermingle roles. And that's what, 70% of marriages in America don't work. Kevin, what supports the head? The shaft. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> be honest, guys. <laughs> yeah. Larry, Larry. Yo, talk about it. If a woman has an issue with what Fantasia has said, more than likely, she has an array of dildos. There you go. Okay. Mm. okay. All right. That's a great observation, actually. <laughs> Natalie, I want to hear what you got to say about that. Um, I think that um, sub being submissive, I think it's like, uh, it's a matter of like, perspective and definition like she said like I think the way I took it was compromise I think I agree too I think that if you're if you've invested in a person and you've like invested in this commitment to this individual I think that um I think that yeah it's you guys submit to each other um and I think that there's a balance and I think that that's not a word that I'm intimidated by I think that a lot of times that that comes with maturity I think that it also comes with a certain level of understanding. For me personally, when I think of submit, I don't think like, well, I'm submitting, I'm being subservient to this person. I think that it's like common ground. If somebody's with me, they already know. Okay. So it's like, you know, like they, you know, it goes both ways. Trust me, she's that chick. It goes both ways. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm 
not, uh, and I'm actually, I'm, I'm not looking for a relationship. Just throwing that out there, just in case anybody's. Oh, it out there. If you're interested? Don't think Wally, about Wally, it. Wally, what you think? I'm not. What you think, Wally? Think about it. I want to know what you think, Wally. <laughs> it's funny because Tommy asked her was she married. She was like, Nah, she played it cool. But I just go back to what Barry said. <laughs> oh, she got a array of dildos. <laughs> hey, oh, I can't wait for I'm you to come denying to me. it. Though. Hey, listen, I'm not denying it. Even if I was married, hello, <laughs> hello. Now, Wally Jackson, this is what I love this dude right here. He goes on the road with Tracy Morgan. He's all over, uh, and, and I love when he's with Tracy Morgan because Wally always talks to me about how chicks treat him when it's like he, they introduce himself as just Wally, but as opposed to. Oh yeah, yeah. Like first of all. Uh, Everybody think I'm security or something, first of all. I remember I, I remember we was in Minnesota, and uh, we got on the elevator. And it was like a fan on the elevator. She was, It was me, Tracy, and like another comedian. And she was like, all right, I had a dream this was going to happen. And I'm like, what the fuck? So <laughs> she's like, all right, so you're Tracy. You must be a comedian. And you're definitely his security. <laughs> I'm like... Bitch, what? <laughs> like, you know what the fuck? You've been like, you're Solange. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> pretty much, man. And like, like, I remember one time, like, uh, like we had got separated. We was in the same hotel and we had got separated. Like, they had got on the elevator before me. And the girl was like, oh my God, did you just see that? That was Tracy Morgan. I was like, all right, yeah, you know, that's my man. She was like, you don't know him. <laughs> she was like, if you really know him, then give me his number then. I'm what like, the I can't that? just give you another dude number. What that make me look like? <laughs> she, was, she was like, <laughs> she was like, listen, I will suck your I was like, shit, it's number three four seven. <laughs> 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 she, got, she got his social address. security number, address, <laughs> all types of numbers. Fuck it's all that for a blow. Text Tracy okay. when it's done. Yo, change your number, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo, so legend, was that what you Goes nah. <laughs> okay. an array of dildos at home. Jesus Christ, guys. Julio. Professional. So we're talking about submission. Right, but I've, to me, submissive means that the man doesn't have to compromise, right? If she's like, you need to submit to him, then therefore it's not about no, compromise, it's no, about see, being see, that's submissive. Where a lot of, see, that's where a lot of that's people get that wrong. Fine, First of all, the word submission, people always tend to put a negative connotation on it. Listen, as a man, if I we, think it's bad though. No, but if we get up and we go to work every day, yeah. no, let's, let's saying, go. whatever works for you is it's honestly, fine. Let's think about let's think about the role of a man. All right, let's you get up, you go to work every day, you provide for your family. You, Wait, for real? <laughs> Dave Not everybody. Hey, Dave, look at it this way. <laughs> Apparently, Dave doesn't. But as a man, you get up every day, even when you're tired, you go to work. You work hard. And if, when you were single, you didn't have to work that hard. But now that you got a wife, you got a kid, and you do these things. And you're happy to do them because you know your family's taken care of. Well, that's a form of submission. Yep. You're right. giving up what you, you would have. You, let's say you had, a, you had a bountiful plate. That's all yours. When you decide to get married to a woman. You agree. Family, you agree to take what's on your plate and put it onto their plates. Right. So you're submitting. Right. If that, but, uh, but that has to be the way it is. And it's okay if it's like that. I feel like people, people are challenging that. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Go ahead. People are challenging that now, which I think is the reason why people had issue with what she said. I think if it works for her, I don't see why people are upset about it. And that like traditional model of a marriage, there's nothing wrong with that. Right. I mean, the idea that there's something wrong with that is like a very 2019 situation, I feel. I feel like you know we should have said yabba dabba do at the end of your, your shit. Right <laughs> 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 hey, hey yeah. Wilma! No, updated uh, yeah. version is it's two men with their own plates and they good. Harry. <laughs> Harry, these guys right here, they have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. Okay. I'm the submissive one in my relationship. You know what I got for Christmas? What? A vacuum cleaner. My wife is like, you better in this home. <laughs> I like fuck you. Fuck yeah, that's right. Wife. Thank you very much, man. <laughs> my goddamn wife is the boss of my house. I like that. She's the one that goes to work and provides for the goddamn family. Well, I'm at home taking care of my kids smoking pot all day. So how dare you, man? <laughs> how dare you? Listen, whatever works for every person. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know? I take that Get a oop pair to uh, help out. What, whatever works for every couple. You know, nobody can tell you what works for you. However, I am going to say, by definition, in Google, submissive means ready to conform to the authority or will of others. Therefore, in my opinion, I feel like Fantasia used the wrong word. I really feel like she needed a dictionary in that moment. I needed, like, she needed someone to tell her, girl, that's not what you're trying to say. You're trying to say compromise. Well, we know Try Fantasia not together. that good with words, but yeah. you got the point. I'm saying. 
what she like, was. Why, are, why is every why is what about the rest of America that's getting? What about the rest of America that's getting fired up? First of all, why am I fired up about what somebody yeah, else really. said? I don't give a shit. Exactly. That's what you said that's cool. Good for you. Let's, but, talk, let's, let's wonder why this though, because we don't want to give in relationships. Seven out of ten marriages fail now. That's correct. But again, like, ah, I mean it's a statistical that's fact. Correct. Seven they end out up in nursing homes. Fail. I feel like <laughs> I feel like that's a whole big other issue of like I no, feel like actually options. Let's think about it. I didn't even say so anything. We, no, but I know you're doing that as a woman <laughs> because I've had so many girlfriends. When okay, tell me how many. I've had quite a few. <laughs> Girlfriends or one night stands? A lot of times when you get in a relation, when you initially get into a relation, and I know a lot of guys can attest to this, your woman is very willing to follow your lead as a man. Because when, as a man, and I've, and I've done this, I put the ball in my woman's court. I said, hey, you take control of things. You decide. Most of my girlfriends never want to decide. Decide what, though? What are you, what yeah. are you exactly what, what talking about? What we're going to do? Where are we going to go? Where you want to eat? That's a man's why job. Is that, why is that such that a hard a, question for women? That's a good one. Is it a hard question for women? <laughs> that's it. Is. You want to eat? It is a man. Let me hear from Miss Velma. You're just very indecisive. Women. We're forgetting about partners, yeah, yeah. lovers, buddies, pals. You know what I'm saying? The woman that stays home, she works like you do all day long, hard. But we forget this. You say, because I'm a man, I went out and I worked all day. She didn't do anything. She worked just as hard as you do. But the problem is why relationships are not being what they are today, because one doesn't want to give. One wants to give more and think the other should give less. How about saying, let's get together, making a decision that can work for the both of you all. It's communication. Yes, right. legend. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That bell. Legend. That makes too much sense. Le yeah. <laughs> hey, legend. Hey, hey let's my, talk. My opinion is what? whoever can whip whoever ass. <laughs> 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 That means, that means Stacey Dash runs her fucking household, huh? Which brings me to the Lion Kingdom. Look at the Lion Kingdom. You got one man and nine other women, and they all submit to him. You know, when, when we. Africa believes in polygamy, though. That's just an animal. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm a straight beast. <laughs> I think me and Larry had that conversation. When you, when you do look at the animal kingdom, roles are very well defined. Yes. The male lion runs things, and the, like, the, females, the females pack up and they go out and find the food. Nice. That's their role. And they're very happy with their role. But when something happens, when the, when the, male, the female lions can't handle it, they call the man. And you know what? They let him eat first, too. Well, you ever see when men lion, you ever see when male lions go out and hunt together? It's quick, efficient. Ladies, they 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 let them do it, but they doing it the wrong way. It take a long time. It's like two girls in the car trying to find directions or some shit like that. Sorry? Uh, 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 I don't know about that. Uh, I feel like it's really I, I important. Have to I'm paying attention to you, Dave. Also, to, to acknowledge that she's speaking about, I, I think she's speaking about, like, biblical principles. Okay. And I think that during the time that these, these biblical principles were established, there was just a different cultural air. Okay. You know, when they were written. And I think that during that time, women just didn't necessarily have... The freedom that, you know, we have today culturally. And I think that so for what she said and those principles, maybe for that time applies. But okay. I think that, you know, it's just... Let's I think not forget about things Jezebel. have changed a little bit. <laughs> right. Yeah. I like there, that. there were a lot of like, there's Jezebel, Delilah, all of them. But the the point is, is that um, the point is that it was just a, it was a different time, and Wait, these, these are just her spiritual beliefs. I like how 2019 we're giving two fucks with Fantasia Burrito things. This is 2005 or what? You. I mean, what's next? Steve Coonberg is going to matter Thank next? You. Jesus Christ. Can I say something just about the time that we're in? I want to hear from Mallory. Mallory. I, I, I would like to just say, to a man. I would, well, here, here's, here's the phrase that we all know. Happy wife, happy life, right? Oh, shit. And I think that a lot of times if you want a relationship to work, yes, there needs to be compromise, but also a lot of times women, if they are too controlling in a relationship, things can be frustrating. But I find that women oftentimes do know what's best for a man. I but agree. if we're trying, <laughs> ah, I agree. But, yeah. but we do, and we all know when a man actually gives themselves to the opinion 
opens himself up to the opinion of a woman, he actually can go much further in his career, in his life. We all know that there is a strong woman behind every man and vice versa. There's a strong man behind every woman. In your case too, I think that the dynamics are different. I definitely agree with you. I don't think she she technically used the right word, especially Public schools. Well, let's say public schools. In 2019, that's not the correct word. Can we verify that? Also, but the biggest thing overall is marriage. We also have to question the fact of marriage. We're not necessarily built for marriage anymore. There are so many divorces because we don't know necessarily how to be with a person forever. That's okay. not what we're built for. Okay. That's just my... A lot of people change, too, after marriage. A lot of people, people just change. swipe it. hear that all the time. You know and it's just always evolving. That's you the thing. You know what change? Tell me, There's honey. There's more people willing to fuck us than just the woman at Yeah. The New iPhone come out every two like, years. Sure. That's all I'm saying. Okay, but here's the thing. <laughs> the thing that the thing about open relationships is women can get ours too. Yeah, we yes, are absolutely yes. fine with you want to go fuck other women. Well, we're fine with fucking other dudes. And you heard it. Woman, all right, there you go. Y'all are not okay with that. Get the uh, guys get in their feelings for that. What are you taking yeah, the pussy? Totally. You taking the pussy? Why are you taking the pussy? I just want to fuck five other bitches, but don't take the pussy. <laughs> don't take the pussy. Exactly. What are you? Gabe Dorado, Gabe Dorado, you, because you're Cuban. Woo. Strong culture. Men are strong in Cuba. You know what I'm saying? You have to get that cocaine out. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> y'all have family yeah. values. Columbia? Y'all have fa- y'all have family values. What do you feel about this issue? I mean, it's all, you guys said it right. Like the, It's all about the wording. I mean, exactly. even marriage. Marriage is the extreme form of commitment that you have to submit a lot of your options in life. Come on, say what you really want to say. Stop. Get, you, or you start dating a girl. Give me a dollar, bro. I, I live with my girl. Dude, I, I'm saying, like, even oh, submissive, shit. like, you submit, like, when you get in a fight, eventually you submit because you don't want to fight I anymore. Mean. Even if you're like, you, you are wrong. You are wrong. You screwed up. Eventually, and, like, you guys get in a fight to the point, like, get out of my apartment. Yeah, oh, I've had that. He's like, get out. Like, I'm going to a hotel when I get back. Be gone. <laughs> you know what's crazy? She, if she doesn't leave and you come back to your apartment... You submit, like, because you're still together. Like, oh, shit, you won't leave my apartment. You're eventually going to have to go back. back. That's true. (laughs) (laughs) That's why I don't move in with men. I I want to tag on what you were saying as far as, like, the times being different, right? (laughs) Because the times are different, and it's like, you know, women are way more liberated and empowered. And I think, honestly, men do not know how to interact with women. Like, I saw a woman going down the escalator, like, trying to navigate a gym bag and a baby in a carriage and a stroller and she like she could have fell and hurt herself but I didn't want to offend her by offering help you know what I mean like but also I can see people looking at me like look at this motherfucker he's not even gonna help her like we don't know what to do with women like as far as keeping y'all happy because I don't want to offend a strange woman by assuming she needs help but then I don't want to look like not a gentleman so men again we just kind of do it until they say no thank you huh do it until they say no thank you oh I'm supposed to I'm supposed to CK's a model but no, I feel you because you can't explain. You don't want to have to explain yourself. You're like, right. I don't want to offend you. Like, I, I, I know you're capable of carrying it all, but I figured I could maybe help you. Out with right. You know what I mean? Weird. You know what I mean? You don't Man, like, I that. ride the train with no shirt on when it's hot. So, <laughs> you know, that's a whole yeah, other that's thing. A you whole can't other just. Issue. <laughs> that's a whole Just walk up no issue. lady without no shirt on. I be trying to tell somebody else, get involved with this. Hey. She'll find an extra hand to pull out a pepper spray if she sees it coming that way, then. <laughs> I freaking love it. I freaking, that was a good one, Dave. Oh, Cass, Cass. You young in the game. You, you date a lot of young girls or whatever like that. What's Talk up? about it. Are you like the dominating type or do you like let it flow? I mean, I, I'm, I'm I'm in the middle. You know, I compromise a lot. You know, this is all about compromise. A lot. It's a about lot. compromising. That's you like, know, like, am I willing I go to, to give the studio? up all this for this this one girl? You know, so Gary, <laughs> for me, what what I think nobody really brought up is uh, having your happiness be dependent on somebody else. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. A lot, a lot of people believe that well my man my girl's not straight up sit straight up sit straight up you know what i'm saying and they looked up well he doesn't do this she doesn't do that i'm not happy because the xyz was like you got to take a step back and be like if you're not happy with you yeah you gotta be happy why am i here because she or or him are not gonna make me happy this is gotta be happy to wake up do this do that live life and 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 you know just be in this world i i I, I love you and your your girl who who does most of the cooking in your house uh, well, that's open ended just because you know my Never. business, yeah. uh, working. You know what I mean? But it's, okay. it's teamwork at the end of the day. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Seamless. Yeah. 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 Grubhub, right? Grubhub. Yeah. This is Carlos. This is Carlos' 
Carlos. Well, what was cool about Carlos, Carlos is my, you, Carlos. my partner in um, the Welcome clothing company. <laughs> He's also my partner in this right here, Let's Get Loud. Like, we, we teamed together years ago to do this and everything like that as far as, like, put, push the loud brand and everything like that. And he's there. Like, he drives a limousine. He owns a limousine company, Tri-State Limousine. The best. The best. He picked Josie up today. Oh my God. Josie drives in today, like... She gets the champagne. <laughs> we got this was at 9 a.m. It's in her rider. It's in her rider. She said, if I'm going to do this show, you're going to pick me up. We're going to do our mimosas, and it's going to be top champagne and everything like that. So oh God, God, Carlos picks great. her up every morning Thank or whatever. Thank you so like. much. You're very welcome. My pleasure. My pleasure. In style. Everything is crispy, top notch, top clean. Top notch. All right, so so that that so that's Carlos, and then we got Julio sitting next to it. Julio is the type of dude, Hi, like, like if you ever want to fight, Julio is there for you. Uh-uh. you know what I'm just saying, like yeah, sometimes right. you just be popping. Lower East Side shit. You know what I'm that's the Lower East Side. That's the Lower East Side. And he, but we've we've hung out many a night, uh, talking to girls or whatever like that. Not him, me. And uh, <laughs> I think I'm Larry Security. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> Fat Puerto Rican. Yeah, in the so, jacket. so we go out. We hang out. So we see the beat nuts. We see a lot of different people. Uh, with the, they got a cousin that raps named Ray's. He, uh, but we hang out on the Lower East Side. And the Lower East Side to me is one of the best places in this Love city. The LES, man. You know what I'm saying? It's grimy, it's gritty. To me, it's what New York is, you know. So that's Julio right there. He said he had to come down. So uh, thank Thanks you for coming out. Thanks for coming, out. Julio. Uh, took off work. Yeah. Now, Julio, I'm not going to let you go. Yeah, what's poppin'? Who wear the pants? Who wear the pants? Well, in the Puerto Rican house, is usually the lady. Okay. That's okay. My, my mother, my mother... <laughs> Uh, the chancleta. Of course, yo. Come on now. <laughs> but now our choice, or is that because you don't want her to get pissed because, off? Because, because in the in the role. <laughs> Listen, my mom is John Wayne with the chancleta. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what you're saying is Puerto Rican men are in abusive relationships. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. My mouth is happily, <laughs> happily <laughs> abusive what relationships. What's going on in the yeah. Puerto Rican community? But they're happy though. Yeah. But they're happy. But they're happy. So they're it's happy. a happily abuse. Oh, it's a happy abuse. Yeah. Yeah. Now listen. You see them complaining? No. After, after years of therapy, people, we all right, we good, we good. We good. We just, after years of therapy, they'll be okay. Now listen, I want to switch gears a little bit. I want to switch gears a little bit. Last week, we got on a topic, and I don't know if you're ready to talk about it, but I want to talk about it. And, you know, it's all about me. Ooh. No, it's not. But the thing is... He wants to talk about... I want to talk about it. Josie came up with a subject last week that really intrigued me. Because I spend a lot of money and time on my nails, on my toes, on my kitty, on my color, on my everything. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, dude. You're let's a see pin you. drop you started talking about your kitty. <laughs> <laughs> everything just went dead silent. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of money, time, and effort, and I want to know how you guys feel about it. Especially with men. Like, do y'all, right. Compa- big fan, comparison. big fan, big fan, big fan. Are y'all soap and water, or do you go the extra step? You mean like one of those? Up. Yeah, yeah that, that's a good start. I get manicure <laughs> pedicures. I don't give a fuck. It's good, awesome. good for you. Love them. And massages, yeah. love them. I love a man who will stand love up and be like, I just did a fucking facial. Yeah. I just got my fucking hand done. Not that kind of facial. No, 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 no. I don't know where you <laughs> hang out, but... Like- yeah. mm-hmm. so no, no, but the line is there. <laughs> so tell me about... Kevin, tell me about what your r- ritual is or what your routine is to like counter what your wife or girlfriend does. Right. Well, the wife and girlfriend are pretty funny. Nice. Uh, the one wife would probably have a problem. I call her female roommate. Anyway. Uh, no, I get massages at least once every couple months to get manicure pedicures. I, I tell you what, man. Don't knock that shit till you try that shit. When you have a woman rubbing your feet for 15 minutes not saying a word, it's fucking magical, guys. Yeah. Big fan. <laughs> Big fan. Cleaning that gunk out of your nails is Hell. Yeah, just kidding. Uh, but yeah, no, it's good. I just do like, the, the basic yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah, Nothing yeah. I, I groom a little bit up front, but my stubble grows back. I'm sorry, like, up front? Can yeah, you because what happens yeah. is when the stubble grows back, it's real prickly. And they I know. Like, Wasn't I saying that last show? Which is yeah. why I do the sugaring thing, which is like waxing or whatever, just like a little more gentle and organic. Yeah, I'm a grown man. I'm not going to sugar shit. You oh, know? But you are going <laughs> to shave? <laughs> uh, Julio. Do you shave? I mean, huh? Do you shave? Hold on. I need yeah, to yeah, I shave. Does. I shave, but <laughs> usually, usually after like a little while, they just be like, just I know, it, it sucks. Just let it grow in. No, not me. Not by me. They'll end up saying, just let it grow in. All oh, right. Because yeah. it's more comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Natalie did. Wait, wait, wait. I want to see what Natalie I, I need my about. girl here. I, I, I feel like, you know, I, I understand, like, it gets prickly. I, I understand all that stuff, but. 
I can't do full bush. <laughs> okay. I can't have like that full bush like in, in my your face. face. Nah, okay. I'm good. It has to be it has to be semi groomed. You know, like trim is good. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. James in a leg lock. Like, we can't have that shit. <laughs> no, 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 that's no. not that's not okay. That is Julio, a, a PSA. Talk about it. Yeah. My goal is to make sure that I'm in a place where it's a it's pleasant for her. Right. I don't. I'm not trying to ruin her experience by being gross. Like you said, I'm not trying to have her be yeah. all in some <laughs> van bush. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's gross, dude. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like the, the doesn't f- bush on a woman. I like though. Go too deep into it. Nobody go agrees. Deep. It's not go okay. Deep. Go, go deep, deep Natalie. Let's go no, deep. I was gonna say no. It just it also like the hair, like it captures all the like scents and aromas. Have you ever the had a, a hair stuck the in your teeth? Part. Stuff like girl. <laughs> That's the beauty. My, my shit looks like a junkyard down there. I fucking love it. Yeah. You have a rabbit dog down there, right too? Or? He yeah. looks like a Ken doll. You have a pit bull? Like, you know what I do, Larry? I let that shit I don't know what you do. You know, you've seen it, Larry. Nah, 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 no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Pull me to the side. Larry. No, 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 no. What's going on? Yo, cut it with scissors. And if you hit it from the back Water like the God intended, you won't on? have to see nothing. Oh, that's a water. That's a... Say that again, Dave. Said if you hit it from the back like God intended, she won't have to see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, that is Hilarious. funny. That, okay, so legend, <laughs> legend. Okay, somewhere in between, um, bush, shaved, oasis. I like Oasis. this. Desert. I like to let mine get really long and corn roll it. Oh wow, oh, shit. good for you. Good luck with that. Larry. <laughs> All right, now let's talk, let's talk to the tumbleweed. Go ahead. Larry. Uh, Larry, I, I may be giving out too much information, but my shit is like a porn star. Oh, uh, how so? Yeah. How so? Yeah. Talk no. about it. Picks or it didn't it. happen. Talk about it. Uncle Jesse's beer down there. <laughs> he got weird signs there going on. There ain't no bush down there mm. because I expect my woman to be a traveler of the world where she can see the real bush. Mm. Okay. Uh-huh. I, I please my bitches. Oh. Barry is Barry is speaking yeah, in riddles. Yeah. Bucket for the yeah. ladies up here, uh, and bucket for the girls. Hey, what are you talking I about? I feel here? like <laughs> I feel like the Julio translation will be on Facebook later on. Thank you. Yeah. I, I feel, I feel, I feel like, like I feel like the professor from Back to the Future read a Dr. Seuss book. Oh <laughs> I will eat it like a fish. I will eat it as a dish. <laughs> One fish, two fish, red fish, old fish. What the fuck, what the fuck did that mean, Barry? No, let me explain because. Oh, is it? I feel like this. I am let me Sam, explain. Sam, Sam, I am. I am Shane. Shane, I am. XNXX porn, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and if any of you watch XNXX porn, you get you. the reference that Barry looks like a porn star down there. Okay. No right. dude has any. Okay. Here whatsoever. And shout out to Anya. Oh, Jeremy has hair. Ivy, my bitch. Thank you. Okay. There you go. How does Barry get that website with dial up porn or dial up yeah. modem these days on AOL and what shit? You talk about a 1960s porn star or <laughs> <laughs> Because they had hair back then. Tell me, I just said. <laughs> I'm into XNXX porn 2019. Yeah, 2019. Looks like baby. a baby's tush. Do they have Eleanor Roosevelt <laughs> naked in there? Tommy. Can we pull? Can we pull <laughs> Barry up? Translate for Philadelphia. <laughs> Barry, hey, Barry's we, like the Grand Canyon. Google, He's dry, but he's beautiful. We Google if Barry's on that site. <laughs> Somebody Google if Barry's on that site. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we listen. Barry watches porn like the old movie projector like this. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie, yes. would you watch Barry porn? I mean, I don't know. Yeah. You, you That's ever, a yes. You ever That's a yes. Right, oh, Natalie and I met. She's a fan of mine. I am. And I was feeling that she was really into me, but you I were wrong. She likes Jews on Rosh Hashanah. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. I was going to say, like, I don't know about you guys. I, I can't. No, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> I know, I'm scared to say it. Being, no, come you know, on. Be scared, no, girl. no, no, no. I'm saying just being in a room full of comedians. Yeah. But like you ever just like, you know, I watch porn, right? Me too. And then Hello. like after a while though, like you just get bored with like some shit and then you find yourself no, watching shit about. that you find yourself watching shit that you just be like, damn, what? I just what? saw that. I have been watching some stuff, guys. Yeah. I'm not going to get into Talk it. Talk about but it. I come feel on, que- I'm questioning myself. Talk and about my, it. I'm questioning a lot of things. Yeah, I, about I my morals. My, my morality. Clown porn, talk about uh, it. I am not new. I'm talking about some wait, deep, wait, what's the craziest dark... what? 
So I actually snuff videos. Anybody? <laughs> All right, let them let them talk. Let them talk. Nah, so I saw this, like, this was, like, the craziest thing. And, and I was actually, like, jumping back and forth to stuff. But this is, like, where, like, it, like, it all, like, went off. Right. And I was, like, then I started questioning myself. I'm, like, what is, like, what? Who am I? Like, yeah. <laughs> give me Who one specific. All right, all right, so there was this chick, and she was, she was getting, like, there was, like, a whole bunch of trash on the floor, and she was getting screwed. And the guy put, like, some a clip on her, like, down there. Yeah. And like, yeah. Yeah. And like, the clip, the clip that um, like, like, holds a bag together. Yeah, some shit. Like, <laughs> you know, it shut. <laughs> you put like, like alligator clips or a car honestly, battery and turn that shit honestly, on. Honestly, it yeah. was it was definitely just like it just I when I was done, I was like, yo, what did I, what just happened? Wait, done. Done, done. <laughs> done, done. <laughs> done, done. Done, done. Done, done. So it was like, good then. We gotta talk. Your oh, hair tie, scrunchy cut. Sounds like it did. It's okay, so wait, 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 wait. I so she was watching porn, porn after that for a little while. <laughs> okay, so now you're on a. I, I feel like I had gotten desensitized. <laughs> okay. It's like, yeah. Julio, like I was from the bag clip? <laughs> yeah, bro. Like a like, chip clip kind of thing? Well, it, it made me question, like, you know, maybe I'm watching too much porn that this clip yeah, shit, no, like. I feel you on that. Yeah. <laughs> no. Mallory, I gotta come to you. God. Come on, Talk Mallory. to us, Mallory. Under pressure. Talk to us, Mallory. Oh, man. I was so hoping you guys were going to skip me on this one. I oh, saw your face. I knew it. for the chip clip and taking a little bit of a break from porn. Yeah, man. I, um, I have to be honest with you. I did not know there was so much porn, okay? I did not know there were so many genres of porn. Um, I, I guess, like I said earlier, I was in it. I'm very innocent, still innocent to this day. Um... I oh You're god! On the wrong show, girl. I feel I feel <laughs> wrong. We're gonna fuck this I, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> um, but I feel wrong. I feel like for me personally, there are a lot. There's a lot of porn that I wa watch, and I feel bad about it. I feel like I'm not yeah. a good person. But I also know at the same time that hey, yo, do your thing. Like right. by all means, like it's. Each yeah, to each right. Speaking of a lot of porn that starts off like this with a girl on a couch answering questions like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, speaking of porn. Yeah. Uh, Julio, Julio is on a show. And, uh, tell them the name of your show, Julio. Are What's you showing your podcast? us a oops, clip? Oops, uh, that's true. It's oops. It's now, well for this. this episode of Oops, I really like this episode of Oops at you because we're actually talking about this subject in a, in a way right now. So if, uh, do, if we, got, we got anything on Julio right now. <laughs> it is. Can you imagine is. being the child of a porn star? Uh, At perfect. what age, as the parent, do you sit the kid down? That's so much worse than the adoption conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I would argue that it is not, but it is really bad. You'd rather? I would rather have my actual mom than have to get this conversation that you're not my You'd rather mom. know that your mother is your biological mother, but that she did a, a, a stint in hardcore pornography that is still available on the internet because the internet, <laughs> internet never dies, then find out that your beloved, your loving parents adopted you? I, yeah, I prefer that. Oh scenario. my God. <laughs> am, I, huh. am I completely wrong about no, this? No, not a chance. Dude, I, I, I <laughs> sincerely stick to that. I would so much rather be adopted than God. be the child of pornographic parents. <laughs> okay, okay, wow. okay. First of all, that's a great, I need to, Question. need to. I would rather be the child of a, a porn star. Right? Because at least, if you're adopted, that's just like, I'm sure there's plenty of happy ad kids who are adopted, but it's hard not knowing your real parents. At least my mom, even if she did porn, she still loves me, and I'm not going to judge her for that. <laughs> Is that right. real or no? Put food on the table. You, you don't get teased. Ooh, you are in her ass. ass. <laughs> You're going to see mommy in some weird videos. Every yeah. yeah. kid's going to know your mom's got a freckle on her left ass cheek. I grew up in group homes and foster homes, and when I met my mother at 13, I wish she'd have left me where the fuck I was. Yeah, man. <laughs> fair enough. Sometimes it be like that, though. Fair enough. Seriously. Yeah. So imagine that kid getting teased every day That's true. while your mom's getting banged out. So and It would be hardcore yeah. teasing. That's true, but I wonder now if in this day and age, if kids are like all ex extra accepting, like all these uh, woke nope. kids. No, they're imagine go to that kid's house like, hey, Mrs. Cream Pie, how are you today? <laughs> Get out of here. I'd rather Yo, be adopted. Fresh is at an old Bobby Lockwood, let me hear it. Let me hear it. How successful was the porn star, though? Like, it's <laughs> debatable. Debatable. 
Debatable. Why? 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 Well, what was your premise? A successful? Oh, no. Do you mean alive, not from meth yet? Dad, I mean. Double whammy. I think I agree with what you're saying because if it's Jenna Jameson or someone who is like up there, everybody knows them, and they have this the midget. So fucking right. porn, okay? Or is it the <laughs> amateur bitch getting gang banged in the fucking car in the back seat, and she's got a one a one Bang video? Bros. Get it right, goddamn right. it! Give it's it like there's a different bros. story. Uh, we also never know those girls' names, so how are we gonna right. find out? You know? Yeah, there's like you'll find out. One off. Now what would okay, Bobby? So, they do that. But. Now back to your <laughs> back to your original premise. Which would you rather your mom be? So, I love my mom. But I love you, mom. No, I just want you to know. Mom, I'm sorry mom, about not this. Not your mom, mom. But in theory, in theory, <laughs> I don't want to be adopted. That's a hard thing to come. You know what I'm saying? And plus, so how famous? As a porn star, would you accept her? <laughs> gotta be like a B-lister, like Sarah J. I know, status, she's gotta be an A-lister you know? for me. Right. Not an A-lister? Me. I mean, B, right. because she's the B-listers be got money, too. Like they just do a little C. They low-key. You don't have to be, to be like top-notch on actual television and shit like that to make the money some of these B-listers. But I don't want no, like, low-class, D-level, only did it for two or three years, dropped out, now she's got nothing, we're living in a trailer, and Jimmy John's call my Damn, you got a whole scenario. <laughs> this nigga more... Sure this does this not happen to you? Yeah. We all watch today, yeah. actually. You prepare. I want to thank you. Porno in his no. No, he's trying to dictate Bobby. his mom's career. People can't even dictate their own goddamn career. <laughs> this is actually your intervention. Okay. I'll let you know this shit right now. <laughs> he watches a lot of porn. He, he watched a lot of porn. Uh -huh. I was very... You got... You you got more creative than Spielberg on that right. one right there. <laughs> so now, Natalie, which would you prefer? Um, I'll be honest with you. I I don't know, but I, I do kind of want to like segue into a different type. I mean, I, I love my mom. I She's done some crazy shit. I'm very well aware. Yeah. So like, I, I don't judge. Good. I don't she judge. a porno? No, no. She was what not type of mom would you rather be? Can we not forget that moms are women? Yes. Because yeah. I feel like yes. it's forgotten a lot. Like I go with my mom to get manicures and they're like, oh, what about mom? And I'm like, mom has a name and it's yeah. this. And because I feel like it immediately like makes you feel less of a woman and it's like you're just a mom, which mm -hmm. just a mom is not just a mom, but you guys know what I mean. You're no, my mom's a, a super mom. Yeah. She's how a, she's how a old are you when you stop becoming a woman? You never stop becoming a woman. And why, why wasn't we eating this old lady that? pussy at the beginning of the goddamn show? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who picked that video. You tell me why you didn't run to that old but folk home. So I have like this theory that in the future, that like future generations are going to have like a digital, like our digital history. So like I'll Oops. be able to like, they'll be able to look up like what I was looking at online or like if or anything that I've like been on online. So I, you know, as crazy as I think about this sometimes when I'm like searching porn, I'm like, I'm like, damn, future generations are going to see that I was like <laughs> looking up, like being choked and like crazy, like yeah. shit I just think like about the that. Judgment like, day if that happens and I'm really I'm like, someone's going to know my business. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, choking yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nursing home. Every <laughs> dude. What else? It's like the DMs here. What else he got going on? Yeah, but who who <laughs> would be who would have a clean enough record to judge you? You know what I mean? Like, there you go. like even your kids. Like my, I, I got a 15 year old. My kid is Not into less. some shit, man. Like you know what I mean? Like so, it's like she can't judge me. <laughs> and what? Oh, no. I was getting ready to read the tree without yes. a shirt on. You are some judgmental no, motherfuckers. Uh huh. And I'm a forgiving mother of a lot of different things. And as I was coming up, I made some mistakes, okay? Now, a lot of people make mistakes, and they're honest mistakes. Sometimes you do it to raise your kids. Sometimes you do it to put food on the table. Right. Sometimes you do it to pay the bills. Now, you got children, you got to pay the bills, right? Mom, were you in the porno? <laughs> Talk to us, Mom. I don't know why. What's going on? City high playing in your mind a little bit, too? <laughs> what would you do if your son's at home? No, she Legend, you're like, <laughs> no, she wasn't. <laughs> The state didn't just magically appear. <laughs> Not on the show, Mom. Now I got... Not on the show. <laughs> now we got steak with the beans and rice. Fucking <laughs> 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 that production. I would have made it. Excellent. You. Excellent. I appreciate yeah. your honesty. Yes. 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 Okay. And, that, and that's no different from us selling drugs. Like, God, God's taking the corner. That's no different. Right. Like, uh, like... My dad sold numbers. His grandmother used to run numbers for hey, my dad. Hey, 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 hey,
Hey, hey, hey, you snitching. Chill out, Takashi69. Wait, 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 ain't no 6 9 no. Chill out, 6 9 hey, man, no rainbow. He's wearing a wire. You don't have to wear a rainbow to be 6 <laughs> 9 <laughs> No, but I get you. I get you, Julio. And now listen up. Check it out. The reason, I, the reason I want you to talk, Natalie, on that subject right there, because Natalie was one of those people, she found a way as a child to go into herself and be creative, whatever her upbringing was. And then when I tell you, I was blown away by this woman's artwork. And it's one of the reasons why she's here, but for her voice as well. So do we have some of her artwork up there? Oh, beautiful. Right wow. so, I'm gonna have, tell us about I'm gonna it. I'm going to have her talk about this uh, artwork. I was going to say the first picture was um, I kind of grew up not knowing that I could make a living with art. Um, I grew up in the day with like no internet. And um, so I grew up in the time of like the starving artists. And then one day I was uh, doing some PA work for a commercial. And this paper actually right here, I was, there's, there were names on the side. And then I was drawing this picture. And somebody that worked in the building, a really big player here in New York, um, saw my work, got in contact with the producer to see if he could get my information, which he did. And I ended up, uh, he ended up buying Artwork for his father, artwork for the office, and that's amazing. It was good. He had ulterior <laughs> motives, but uh, oh, as always, oh, shit. but uh, but he this. did buy my artwork, and and I he paid a good penny for it, and that's when I realized that okay, I could I could actually make yes. a living off of this. You're really, really, really very. What talented. were you going for right there? So that wow, this is I, beautiful. I actually um, it's very sexual. It's yeah, I love a lot it. of I I really love the female body, and yeah. I think like sometimes it's over sexualized, and I know this could be perceived as like sexual. It's, it's <laughs> <laughs> can I say something? There's Are nothing. Yeah, I know. There's nothing wrong with being <laughs> sexual. But it's, no, I think this is, is more that? like a like wow. acknowledging. <laughs> Men, can we be quiet? The, Men, can we be quiet? The beautiful, the beautiful artistic kind of expression of sexuality you know exactly without without like kind of like making it something that's i don't know like there's no need to, to try to like you're yeah. trying to apologize for something beautiful just because somebody else might be dumb enough to take it somewhere else you can't yeah. apologize for other people's stupidity absolutely so we this all understand this, this one right here just here so after i sold uh, my first portrait and uh that artwork i started getting commissions for portraits and um, so I got a whole bunch of commissions for portraits. I was doing murals, doing face painting, doing window painting, doing basically anything that I could get for money. So right now what I'm doing, which is why I'm happy to be here to speak about it, is I'm kind of like trying to venture away from doing commissioned work. Now, don't get me wrong. I still want to do commission work, but commission work that means something to me. Right. I want people to... Rather than know. other people. Exactly. I feel like, you know, I kind of became like a slave to the consumer and in Instead of like pursuing, right. instead of pursuing like what my joys are and and the things that I like to. Beautiful. Beautiful These are beautiful. Now. Thank you. I actually did this in like literally three days. I I, I did like a collage piece around to do the garment. Um, she wanted uh, her mom to look like an African queen. Uh -huh. And I did that so that I would like cut my painting time, but it actually came out really good, and I'd do it again. Yeah, okay. I actually want you. Ooh, I, I ooh. want you back. Yeah. Ooh. I actually have a page um, dedicated to art. It's called Moody okay. Artists, and yeah. I feature other artists. Um, I do photography and like some art, not yeah. like that. I do more um, abstract. But look at okay. that. That's insane. Yeah, I was also selling merchandise and. Uh, T-shirts. So where can we see okay. your stuff? Where can we find your stuff? So right now, um, because I'm moving away from the commission work, I'm actually relaunching my website. I don't want to give an exact date, but it's definitely like coming in the new year. Again, I'm Posh Pirate on IG. Okay, Posh Pirate. Yeah. And, oh, it's uh, right there, Posh yeah. Pirate. So I, this is also, like I mentioned, I worked in the nursing homes. Mm -hmm. So I used to teach art to the elderly. That's really sweet. And that's yeah. like so rewarding, And I used right? to go to different places and we would do a program where at the end of the day, they would... I mean, not at the end. At the end of the program, they would get a certificate of achievement. And you'd be so surprised. Some of these people never painted anything in their life. Yeah. And by the end of the program and with like we would get the community staff and family involved, like literally we would give them a and a section like time and they would they would cry, like literally shed tears because they were so just excited and passionate that they've accomplished something. Yes, of course. Yeah. So. That's beautiful. Look That's at this. Beautiful Look at this. Yeah, this is this is kind of like what I like to do, more like abstract surrealism. Yes, just I love abstract. A lot of play with colors. This actually was a completely different painting, and one day I just like went right over it. There was a 
face under that uh, Captain Marvel face be- oh, wow. way before the movie Where? came out. Um, up Where? There the you wouldn't be able to see it now. Another- okay, okay. So this is this now like I converted so it into some like mermaid uh-huh. type of yes, thing. Yes, yes, yes. But um, but yeah, it's it, this was a completely different piece. These are beautiful though. Thank like, you. I loved every single one of them. So this here, I actually kind of um got into photography a little bit. I went traveling through uh, Europe. And I just, I don't know if it's like, I think it's hard to take a bad photo in Europe, though, because there's just so (laughs) many beautiful beautiful. places. But But, um, did you go to? I was in Greece. I was in, uh, went through uh, Italy from the bottom to the top, from Napoli to Venice. I was in Paris and I even actually stopped at Egypt. Very nice. Beautiful. So this actually is, um, ties into, I want to do a show. And I want to incorporate these photos that I took. I um, This was during the time where Puerto Rico was going through the devastation of Maria. Right, right, right. And um, it, that happened, like, right on the brink of me leaving. So I did a tribute. And everywhere I went, Beautiful. I took a picture with my flag. And I'm going to play that into a portion of my art show where I want to basically speak on the tragedies and the things politically and stuff going on in Puerto Rico because that's actually a really, really, really big uh, yeah, passion of mine. Yeah. That's right. Give it up. Um, this is, this is really up. beautiful Give stuff. Yeah, so this, um, and I can't wait to have you Thank back you so on, much. honestly. Yeah, this is like kind of a sneak peek of stuff that I'm working yeah. on right now. Beautiful. But, yeah, okay. thank you. do portraits like, uh, yeah, you do. Yeah, I do, uh, I do yeah. portraits. Um, Sorry, like a whole full, yeah. yeah I do portraits, landscapes, yeah, everything. You. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right. That's what's up. Okay, so now amazing. I got. Oh, you know, is, is Todd here? Where's Todd? Is, is Todd right? Uh, there was a guy named Todd here yesterday. He was a really good dude. I brought good it on from one from one of our sponsors, uh, that, which is the Humidor. I always got to show this. Ah, oh, the Humidor. The humidor. <laughs> Larry took me there. The humidor. They're so much fun. So, Hi, Humidorians. Do you guys smoke cigars? Sure. Okay. No. no. Okay. So Kevin Gucci, I want to thank you. Oh. This is these are thank cigars. You. Well, you, those are really good cigars. It's a cigar. Oh, cool. I got a, I got, I got um, Gabe out there. He can like check the authenticity. <laughs> okay. Also, we got another. Uh, <laughs> we got another spot. We're getting, trying to get sponsors coming in. Nabisco, I want to thank sponsor you. us people. Um, Nabisco for it. reaching out to us. Also, um, I got another one. I got a gym in Bay Ridge. Did, did, did that commercial come up? I didn't, maybe I didn't send it over. You got it? Okay. So check it out. This is my other sponsor, Badass Gym in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. How much for this t-shirt? Oh, no, you don't buy that t-shirt. You earn that t-shirt. What do you mean you earn that t-shirt? No, you earn it. Let's go. The Jersey Shore. Let's go. Stop playing. Uh, I'll Let's be go. back. I'll be back. Let's go. All right. Love this branded content. Yeah. Bigger bombs. Bigger bombs. Push up. Shake it. Push up. Push it. Push up. Shake it. That just one that you yeah, keep Who's on? filming this? Michael J. Fox? <laughs> He's just doing one. That was one push-up, but I, we kept repeating. One push-up, people. All right. So that's, that's Badass Academy. Listen, Anthony, we'll get a... Yeah, Larry. I'll, I'll, do, a, I'll do a high... Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, that's yeah. a loop. It's a loop. It's not a loop. It's a, it looks like a loop to me. What do you think? I did a thousand. <laughs> They brought it back to the military days, huh? <laughs> Actually, yeah, I don't doubt you. Badass oh, Academy. Is that Paulie D? He's definitely hit a woman, right? Look <laughs> <laughs> at all that gel. Yeah. Damn. EJ's happy, all right, guys. You'll, feel, you'll find him there every day in the summer. Yes. Yeah. That was Badass Academy. They always send. They send Larry. Whatever you need, we'll throw some money your way. Just you know, give us a plug. And I was, you know, badass a cat. And these guys are good guys in Bay Ridge. You know, so uh, I just want to thank everybody for coming. How'd you feel today, Josie? I feel great. Yeah, I feel really Josie great. Josie brought the champagne. I, oh my mimosas. God. As long as you give me alcohol, I'm okay, people. Josie brought the I champagne. I am okay. <laughs> I want to thank every last one of y'all for thank coming. Y'all so are this shit. And even the people who came to just hang out with us. Thank, thank you for you hanging out. Very with much us. for hanging out with us. Whatever. And uh, that's our time, people. Thank you. Happy show. Happy show. That was an as bad as I thought. Oh, okay. oh shit. Who, what, what is uh, Ritz sponsoring us? Yes. 
better me. The best